Welcome back to episode 17 of our Make Barbarians Great Again series for Legends Mod. Um, as you may have already noticed, something looks different. And that is the different speeds on the map, which have been a little addition. This is a new patch. It is a small, but I think very big change that they've done. Uh, it's very nice to have this UI under here to show you that you can pause and go different speeds. Normally you could go to the higher speeds without actually having any indication of it up here, but now you have it, so it's a little bit nicer for newer people. Uh, the other big change that I was alluded to the other day through a comment, so thank you guys for constantly letting me know of things and chatting and discussing stuff. I love to talk about the game and things in general, but one thing that really sort of confused me is they changed clarity again. They only changed it not too long ago. And they ruined it. It's garbage now. Absolutely garbage. 10% of any damage ignores armor is what clarity gives now. If you have the potion effects like the old clarity, it doubles it. So it's now 20% damage ignores armor if you're using potions. Uh, yeah. That's... That's horrible. Like, I remember playing this mod way back before Blazing Deserts came out, and Clarity with the extra action point has been around for a very long time, as far as I can remember. And the fact that they've gone out and just removed that option from the game, I think that that takes away a big pillar of what Battle Brothers had for a lot of options with their builds. And basically... I, I can see a benefit to this. I can. I, I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I just think it's really bad. The only benefit I can see from this is if you play with duelist builds, it will now give you... Because that normally gives you 25% damage of ignoring armor. So now you'll have 35%, which is, I mean, nice. It's not insanely strong, but coupled with things like this, it, it can be strong. I just think it's 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 a bad move. And in all honesty, I think they're going to change it again sometime soon. I don't know how the community is feeling about it too much, but I, I think the community is really divided on how Clarity should be working. So we'll have to wait and see. So this might just change again. But yeah, for the moment, I'm not super impressed, but we're going to have to live with it because we keep going on with the newer versions. Uh, they've changed a couple of little things, fixed a lot of bugs, which is really nice to see. They've changed a bunch of armors for the enemies which is really good, so enemies don't come around with horrible armor sets. Uh, what's the other couple things they changed that were really useful? A couple of crafting changes, which is nice to see. But yeah, mainly just the perks that I was looking into. Yeah, it's just really sad to see it. But we'll have to keep ourselves posted for the future and see what they do with it. But for the moment, it's, it's not even considering in my books to take it. So I have to remind myself whenever we go through perks to ignore clarity, because that's such an ingrained thing for me. Anyways, getting back into what we've got. I forgot to sort out the armors, but there is one armor I did need to sort out, which is the helmet, because that is a nice helmet. Uh, Roscoe probably should grab it, because he's on 135. 155 for Velo... 9 fatigue, 8 fatigue. What if we switch this one out? Where's the attachment? 100 for... 50 for 3, 100 for 5. Yeah, that's better. Okay, Velo can grab that cool attachment and go up to 205. Very nice indeed. Just get a couple salvages whilst we're here. And the party just needs to get back on their feet. But I did say it last episode, and I am going to grab it. We are going to grab our retinue spot, which is the Brigand. Long time waited, but we finally are sitting on some good cash that we're not desperately needing to hire anybody with. So let's just do it. Make the position of some caravans at all times, even if outside your sight radius. And one of the backgrounds which we easily do have because we started with barbarians. Uh, but getting raiders is very hard because they're very expensive. Deserters are a bit easier. If you've seen my tier list video and stuff, they're a bit easier to grab, so there we go with that. 
Does that immediately show it? Do we have to start some time movement? I think we have to start some time movement. Uh, but to start some time, we're going to grab ourselves some healing. We are swimming in medicine at the moment, which is really nice. So we can sort that out. And we've got a lot of salvaging to... No, we don't. Interesting. I thought we'd have a bit more, but for the moment... That is almost it. Ah, and those two. Sweet. So we have a little bit of salvaging to do, not too much. Get that down to 11 hours. We can get this down to 12 hours and then have everyone else training, I guess. Because repairing happens automatically and everything else looks pretty good. And food's doing fine because we don't eat much. Oh, wait a minute. That's new. It didn't start the game just by going into camping mode. Oh, that's different. I am not going to get used to that. So I have to just play it. Oh, and that's the other cool thing I, I do have to mention. The way they change the speeds is it doesn't matter if you're camping, caravanning, or doing anything. You can actually change the speed of how fast you caravan to, like, ludicrous and all that. I'm too scared to click ludicrous, but I think I should click it just for a little bit. Holy crap, that's fast. That's actually really good for camping if you just want to get through your camp. Because you used to have to wait at a two times speed, I think it was. Was the always time for camping and caravanning. And this little change is nice. Uh, and I can hit 4 on the keyboard, 3, 2, 1, and spacebar as usual, which is very good to see. So let's see what happened. Oh, we got some new injuries. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's three new injuries. We just cured four injuries, and we got three new ones. Oh my goodness, and there's some pretty bad ones too. Okay, let's... Let's go buy the um, camp upgrade for... Uh, training grounds sometime soon because my goodness five percent chance of injury is just too high uh, let's put a few more people on training because we're not salvaging and it's still not gonna move interesting uh, wait actually before we start camping we need to check out what's here available to us we had brigand location and now there's something new Another caravan, two days to the north to Hemistad, or Heimstad. Two days north. Oh, that's to a city that doesn't like us. Ah, uh, but in all honesty... Oh, if it goes eastward, we're screwed. Yeah, they're never going to go north and around. Yeah, no, that is a horrible, horrible choice. So let's not do that. Uh, let's sort out our food issues. Oh, yikes. Everything's a little pricey here, but the tools aren't too bad. So we'll grab one of those. Grab one of those. That's a bit expensive. Oh, ho, ho. that's not a bad price. 100 bucks. 150 is pushing it. But we need a lot of these Jester Hats. Uh, who's next on the chopping block for Jester Hats? Archie doesn't need it, he already has it. Uh, did we need Brandwike to have it? 85%, he already has it. Uh, Angel's doing okay on 30. Brute is here for Nisman, so I think he needs it. They're trying to go for that. I think they, they did nerf uh, two-handed flails, or the reach flails. Yeah. Negative 10 damage on average to ranged flails. Which I think is what they mean by reached flails. Which is very sad to hear, if that is what I think it is. Oh, and they renamed the aesthetic layer. And they don't let you get bonuses... So you can't double up on the hats anymore. That is really sad. <sighs> no, 
Now we're down to 85% instead of our usual 95%. I, it's just been a very sad update. I know we were abusing it a little bit, and I did say it was a little overpowered, so... The fact that we can no longer double up on helmets is sad, but I, I understand it. Uh, who's next on the Brute? We need it for Slingers, so we might as well grab Polly's one. There we go. Uh, Trauma Pack needs one. Let's give you the blue one. Psycho does need one. There we go. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. You gotta make sure you put it into this slot, the vanity layer, not the aesthetic vanity layer. Um, it doesn't fix it for you, so you have to make sure you're putting it in the right slot, or else it won't give you the bonus, as you can see here. 30%, but if you add the second one into the aesthetic, it doesn't give you what you need. So just be aware of that if you're playing on the newer updates. Sad to see it go, but that's okay. Uh, who else was needing headshots? Not many others. I think that's about it. Yeah, so we have a spare one, just in case. Because we can't double up anymore. Oh, and I put it in the wrong spot for Trauma Pack. That makes sense. So now he's on 55. Oh, we have two spare ones. Okay. And I put it on the wrong spot again. Goodness me. So, yeah, just double check them because as you can see, I just screwed up there as well. It's way too easy to get these layers wrong now that they don't make it that they make a difference. Before it used to didn't really make much of a difference. Okay, so just make sure you're on top of that so you don't forget. Uh, cuz it would be really sucky if you went as long as I did without having the right ones. Uh, so for the moment, I think we're going south, because we want to sell these dyes, make a ton of money, and then come back north. Uh, the brigand location's okay, but we're trying to heal up, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, we saw the caravan, but now we can't see it. <gasps> There's one right there! Holy, wow, that shows a lot of distance, but it didn't show that one. There's one all the way up here. That's really nice. It's interesting that it shows ones that are allied to you as well. Which is which means the brigand on your team is like, hey, you know what, attack some of your friends. Which I, I don't think is super thematic, but that's okay. Uh delivery. We might do it if you want us to go south. Azim Shab, two days to the southeast. Yeah, we're not going that far. No. Nothing here. Could buy the wine, but in all honesty, we should just buy the super cheap food. Take care of ourselves. That should be fine. Uh, is there something I'm forgetting to repair? Yeah, there's a few things. We need to make some money off of this. A lot of things we need to make money off of. There we go, that's looking a little better. And whilst we're heading south, we might as well just get this free caravan too. Oh, a new supply caravan came out. In all honesty, we kind of want to go and find the really heavily guarded ones like that. Because they're probably going to... Oh, dear. That's Hexen. Yeah, no, we're not. We're not dealing with Hexen. Uh, but yeah, we want to go for the bigger ones, because they're more heavily defended. Which, it makes them a little more dangerous, obviously. But it also means they got good rewards. So let's just grab this little one here. Which... Okay, now it's letting me click on it. Uh, just caravan hands and some carts. Nice and easy. Let's get that up, back up to normal. 
And they should charge us. Very beautiful. Let's go for that one. Nice. Let's just wait. This will be easy with them just coming towards us. Let's put Archie on the high ground just to make life easier. <laughs> beautiful Aussie, beautiful. Rolling a one to start the game and getting a beautiful kill. Almost a double. That headshot chance is beautiful. We might just kill them before they get to us. Ah, uh, 270s, Polly's, they were so close. Uh, do we still have another archer? We do. Psycho. Oh, we still need to fix the injuries. That's right. But, we can go for this kill. Nicely done. Yeah, rolling on sixes, that's not going to be a problem. Archie gets a beautiful kill. Let's destroy this one, because he's got the better gear. And a headshot would do really nice damage to him. And we can start charging them down, because they're going to probably run away soon. Ozzy, you are just throwing rocks. Goodness me. That was pretty good. Oh, and the clarity makes our pole arm builds completely useless. Oh, that pisses me off a little bit. Just a little bit. Not gonna lie. Oh, we rely on our pole arm brothers a lot. That's rough. Anyways, let's rush them down. Okay, let's get these ones eventually. There we go. We still have this lane open for an 80%. Beautiful. And a 75. Oh, wish that was a headshot. Going after the guy with the shield. That's an interesting choice. Not like the AI to do that. They usually like picking on people without a shield. Uh, do we go for the lucky shot? Might as well. Oh, well, that didn't work out. <laughs> then we won't shoot our own people. We'll be nice. Okay, any second now. Our people are so slow on the front lines. But we should expect that. Let's go for the kill. Nice. And Velo can move and still hit. Beautiful. A 93. Uh, at least we get the 95. That's good. Uh, we get a piece of salt. That's good. Bunch of free meat and food. We are set for food. Look at that. A little bit of cash. A little bit of uh, armor to salvage. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely going to sell us some really good prices down in the southern states now. Psycho gets a... Oh my goodness, a 5 and a 4. Beautiful. Oh, uh, we don't need to worry about your health, so I think we're just going to keep stacking that fatigue. Sad with the plus 2, but that's okay. Uh, what do we need from here? Love to grab Nimble, but we can't. Fast adaptation's not bad, but we're already sitting on some really nice stats. Uh, Killing Frenzy's a good choice into... Yeah, I'm not sure what else we desperately need. 
Anticipation is always a nice defensive. Fast adaptation is just nice. But I think Killing Frenzy is just a nice damage boost. Uh, also, Shadowcom, what do we got? Unfortunate defense roll. We got gifted, so that sort of makes up for it. But unfortunate with the one. I am very happy with that beautiful resolve roll. We're practically not needing any more resolve after this. So we can pump the HP and go crazy with that. Maybe even get something like muscularity. 10% of your current HP as minimum and maximum damage. It's not amazing, it sounds amazing, but it's not that amazing. It's something, though. Uh, and speaking of something, we do have to choose a weapon for you eventually. But we might hold out on that for the moment and give you quick hands. And then jump into, like, Underdog and Nimble and stuff. We'll sort it out eventually. And let's repair that, salvage things we don't need. That's looking good. We probably don't need that one because we have enough of those. Ah, we don't need that one either. Looking good. Let's quickly stop over at this city, because we're so close. Oh crap, that's a legendary quest. I, I am intrigued. Audacious act of thievery. <gasps> oh. Oh no, don't tempt me like this. That's a legendary follow the tracks. And that's one of my favorite types of quests. That's super tempting. What's the tier one? Brigand set a location. That would be super easy. What do they have available to us? Uh, yikes. Nothing really good. Very expensive militia. Yeah, nothing good here. Wow, they're selling things at a horrible price. Food is sorted. Uh, are we? Are they buying at a price? 22, oh my. Uh, we can make bank here, which is what we will be doing at the moment. Sell those, we don't need those. Goat and Dags are cool, but I really don't like their damage. to be repairing that. Probably don't need that many of those. Oh, we can sell the Signet Ring for a good price. Salt for 490 is actually pretty decent. That's hard to find a better price. Even in the southern states. It might be just very similar. So we'll sell the salt right now. Oh my goodness, that's dried fruits. That's a hundred bucks. Yeah, we'll sell the dried fruits. I thought it was just fresh fruit. They look so similar to me. I get so confused half the time if it's dried or fresh. I love the, the texture for it and the icon, but it, that looks so similar. <laughs> so I do get confused, but that's okay. Uh, that, that gave us some nice cash. Anything else we desperately can sell? Let's sell the things we don't need for the zeros. Because they will get nothing out of that normally. Winged maces are good. And the militia glaive is not as good as a boar spear, so we'll have to sell that. Uh, I don't like war brands, that's right. I forgot to sell that. Other than that, that's pretty good. Uh, so from here, what's the thing that's holding us back? A couple of injuries, I think. 
and whether I think our team is effective enough. We really are struggling on people in the front lines. Might have put you on the corner. Eleven defense, thirteen defense. Twenty-one! Okay, story time. You are almost ready for the front lines with a twenty-one defense. Not gonna lie about that. That's better than Roman with a shield. We don't have a... Oh, we do have a two-handed hammer for you. Does it do more damage? 36... No, 39 to 69. With 40 to 70. Um, oh, yeah, that does do a lot more damage. Do we have quick hands on you yet? We do. We don't have a pole hammer. But we can just switch between these two. That's fine. Okay, I'm happy with that setup. Psycho's doing good. Yep, that looks pretty good for the moment. Loving the 31 defense on Archie. That's looking beautiful. And in all honesty, Clarity does help with this situation for his flail. Because we want him to go through the armor a lot more on the helmet armors. Because these flails don't do that much damage to armor. But I guess that's the only really good thing for that situation. Uh, other than that, we do have an upgrade. Is the pike... Who could use it the most? Probably Shadowcom. And nobody else could use an upgrade as a hook blade. Fair enough. 20 to 50, 10 to 25. Oh, that's 50% damage inflicted. Okay, so then that's 40 to 70. Technically, it's really similar. Except this does better damage to armor. But you only have one chance to hit with 5%, and this helps around shields. It's a bit of a toss-up between which one's better, but I think we'll just stick with what we've got at the moment. Uh, repairing a few things for selling would be nice. Other than that, I think we're ready. I would love to have ourselves healed up. Oh, this is so risky. But we've got to do it. Follow the Tracks is an amazing quest. And since it's only 3.8k, I mean, I'm saying it's only 3.8k, uh, legendary four-star quests usually cost like seven, ten thousand, 10,000, something crazy. Uh, but 3.8 is a little bit lower, so hopefully it's nothing too crazy. But knowing us, we're going to get something crazy. Uh, what we have to do is... Oh, hello. Oh my goodness, we're getting another cultist. <laughs> Nisman, our brand new guy, Jumpy. Do it. <laughs> oh my goodness, Nisman, the mind of her body flail reach gets plus two permanent resolve. Couldn't have scripted that better, that's amazing. Okay, so now here's... Oh my goodness. A few Master Archers? A Bandit Warlord? We might be losing someone. Uh, we'll stay where we are at the moment and try and camp to fix all our problems. We have to stay within range of them so we can... Oh, we already have it on the list of things to do. Good. Salvage tent, let's add that to the salvage tent, and maybe... Yeah, there's not much else to add. Maybe we'll add a 55, just because we can, just for some extra tools. Because we're needing how many tools to repair everything? Oh, it's only two. Okay, that's fine. I'll put one, two, three, four, five, six people, maybe... Seven on salvage. Uh, we'll take everyone off of training because in all honesty, we're just going to have more injuries and that happens way too often for us. And we can't afford an injury right before such a major fight. So 
we might as well get some more medicine out of it. Okay, so let's sit on that. And because we're just outside the radius of these thieves, uh, with the walking quest... Fudge, why did that? That did that. Uh, so what happens whenever you accept these follow the tracks quests is the enemy is always standing in the same spot. And they just never move. The only problem is, if you just stay in town, you're going to lose where the footprints go, so you're going to have to wander a long way to find wherever they are. But if you follow the tracks just a little ways of the way, and just spot the enemy, they don't move, so you can camp right nearby, which is what we're doing at the moment, and we'll never lose them, the footprints go away and we still know where they are, not a problem. So the injuries are taking their sweet time to get fixed. Why is the crushed finger not... Oh, did it heal itself? Wait a minute. Oh, the crushed finger healed itself so we didn't even have to use medicine for it. That's nice. Sprained ankle is healed by tomorrow. Kneecap in one to three days. Uh, in all honesty, I think we have to take them tonight. Because our money is running... No, our money was running low. Uh, but we still just don't want to waste time doing nothing. Food's okay. But yeah, we des against Master Archers, holy crap, we have to beat them at night for sure. Does that mean we need to bring out a few extra shields? Or... No, I think we just go guns blazing. The Warlord's going to be hard to deal with. So, Roscoe sitting on 31 is pretty decent. Archie sitting on 31 is decent. In all honesty, I'd love to give Archie dodge. If I've got nothing else to give him. Just extra defense. Just for free. Shannara is sitting on 37 resolve, which is a lot better than it used to be. Not by much. Yeah, our front line's what's really suffering this season at the moment. But story time sitting on 21. I, I'm surprised and happy, but it's because of that beautiful tiny. Uh, let's double check everyone has their daggers, which is another thing. I love... Okay, that's the change that I love the most that they've done. It reminded me because I saw the daggers. Uh, when you're trying to dagger down enemies with puncture... You get a bonus to hit them when they're fleeing. So if you've got six people around a guy, you can actually stab them to death a lot easier now. It's like a 50% uh, chance to hit. Which, I really like that change. So, that's one of the main changes I actually really support. Because it doesn't ruin the gameplay, it just speeds up the pain and suffering that is... Oh, actually it's not nighttime yet, it's not nighttime, it's not nighttime. Okay, now it's night time. Oh, please wish us luck. They feel shocked. No time is wasted trying to parlay, arm themselves, and then they charge. Okay, so... Shivers. There's no easy enemies. The war dogs are easy. The marksman is probably going to be easy to deal with. Raiders can sometimes be easy or not. Master Archers are insane. Veterans are... I don't know how insane they are in Legendary difficulty, but I know they're difficult. The Warlord and the Leader are going to be pretty tricky to deal with in melee. And there's 20... Yeah, there's 22 enemies. <sighs> the Veteran's got a really nice helmet. That one doesn't have a helmet. Okay, Archie, you have a headhunting target. That one's got nice helmets. I want those helmets. He has a long axe. I need that desperately... For Solaris. Solaris, you need that weapon. Uh, let's see if they chase us down with dogs. Yes, good. That means they're coming to our situation. We can start... Hold... What the heck is that? Is that a S-Stock? It looks different than what S-Stocks normally look like. I have never seen that weapon before. And it doesn't tell me what it is. Uh, regardless, we should take him out. Nice hit! And he's already wavering a little bit. Great shot, Brutals. Uh, Malagon, let's wait. 
And Jumpy and all you guys, let's wait as well. Also, congratulations, Jumpy, I believe. Uh, you're a cultist now. <laughs> cultist rat catcher. Welcome to the cultist crew. Every single run I do always seems to end up cultisty. They have a minstrel. Okay, that's fine. That doesn't really bother us. Uh, Archie... Yeah, we might as well get rid of that dog. I kind of want to aim for this guy, but his shield's going to be a problem. So going for the 35 is not a bad waste of our time. Except there's miners. Okay. They didn't say there were miners on the list. Maybe it was too long of a list. That's probably why. Uh, Polly's, what do we got? I guess just deal with this guy. Nice! Hit! Chrome, the days of double hits are over. But you still have it in you, man. Nicely done. That guy doesn't have a shield. Ooh, that's good to see. Uh, this flank is a little bit weak. I will have to keep saying that because that is unfortunate. That's not a dangerous weapon. That's a dangerous weapon. That one's not too bad. That is a great sword. Or is that... Oh, that might be a Zweihander. A Zweihander, that's right. You guys taught me how to say that right. Story time, we can walk up and do the Hooked Blade instead. So let's go... This way, and go for the guy that doesn't have a shield. And we hit his helmet. Of course we hit his helmet. There we really... Oh, there's a nice... Tower shield. And he's got no helmet armor. Okay, Roscoe, we need to put our shields up, slow things down. Uh, Velo can move, switch. And bash someone over the head. Can we stun them? Technically we can, they don't have immunities to stun. And in all honesty, I'd rather go for the stun. Especially on this one. Nice! He's got no armor, which means Shadow Calm. Can you do this? Sprained ankle. Can that still... Yes, it can still work. Can you kill him? You got a headshot. No! You could have killed him on a body shot. But in all honesty, he's still stunned. He's going down. That was a beautiful combo. Okay, Igor, you need to help up this top area. Beautiful 69. Uh, Solaris... We don't have a long axe. Um, crap. Okay, what do I want to do? I want to put Craftmaster here to hit him twice. I want to put Shinar into the middle of the three. I want Archie down here, dealing with this one without a sh oh, this one without a helmet. That's where I want Archie desperately. Uh, which then leaves this guy to run through our defenses. Not completely, but it leaves this corner guy to be a bit of a problem. Then that axe guy will come through. I really don't like these two big boys. They're the scariest things in the world. And I don't know where to put them. They don't get clarity as well, which is good. So he can't bother us if we do this positioning. But he can. So what we do is we predict it and go here. Because then he can't... Yeah, that's probably the right play. Okay, we'll do that. And I don't know where to put Roman, so we'll just... Oh, Roman could go on the flank. But that's risky. One, two, there. We could go two spaces and shield wall. We go two spaces in Spear Wall. Yeah, I don't know which one's the better choice. That scares them away. That keeps you alive. Let's go with the keeps you alive bit. 
Uh, archery shots against the miners, please. Nice. Okay, so Shinar, you have to move now. And you can't shield up because you've got no stamina. So let's kill the miner instead. That works. Except Craftmaster was meant to do that. <laughs> okay, Craftmaster, you can destroy... No, you don't need to destroy the armor. You already do enough damage. Let's go for a normal hit. Oh. Oh, no. Two Master Arch... Shivers. I didn't mind the one with the Warbo. I mean, I don't like Warbos. They're painful. But oh my goodness. Thank goodness, Nismin. Where are you, buddy? He rolled low on you. I thought you had Nimble. You don't. I was sure you had Nimble. Yikes, if they're shooting you, man, that's going to be really problematic. Uh, one, two, three. That's really dangerous to put you there. But we have to put you somewhere, Jumpy. Let's put you here. That's risky, too. He's going to be a problem in our situation, always. If I moved here, it could have saved our back line a bit, but it would have gotten a giant hit to our face. This makes it a bit more risky for our back line, but it's the right choice. <laughs> They've got a monk. He's not going to be a problem. Okay, so with our situation, we go here. That's going to be annoying, so we can't put Trauma Pack there. Uh, we have to put Trauma Pack here. We have to put Brandwag into this spot. Go for the beautiful hit on the Veteran. I want to hit the Miner, but he's not dangerous. The Veteran is dangerous. What's our chance to hit the head? It is 85. Yeah, do it, man. Beautiful. It did not break his 15 armor, though. Uh, Nisman is bleeding. Okay, go find... Where did he go? Major Pain. Go stand next to him and get healed. That's why we've got him. Uh, Caleb, we need to put you... Probably there, so we want the Brigand Raider to walk up. Dang it, Angel, we wanted you to go here. Wait, why is Archie's turn done? Did I do something wrong? Crap, I think I did something wrong. I definitely did something wrong. What did I screw up on? Also, that is scary. And that looks like a named sh shield. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen eventually. I just didn't think it was him. I thought it was going to be him. Uh, Riposte is very dangerous. So I think we go for the 40. Okay, that didn't work. He needs to reload, so he's not going to do anything fancy. Yes, he moved one space. That's what we wanted to have happen. Okay, top flank is secure. Middle has the really big guys are scary. Bottom, I screwed up somehow with Archie, and I don't know how I did it. Uh, there is no good shots. We go for collateral. We don't hit archers because they're impossible. So do we go for the marksman? Collateral? That works. We want that guy. He's gonna reload and shoot. Holy crap. Okay, Archie, do this. Nice. Why did only two of those hit? That's really unfortunate. Let's go for this collateral. Yes, do it again. Okay, you didn't get the collateral, but that's okay. Um, the Ox is done, the Veteran is scary, but Chrome, I think it's worth risking going here. 
And we almost had that. We do have fast adaptation. He's still stunned. Good. Yes, the veteran's going up a very long way to be useful, and he's not being useful. Oh, we needed that hit. Marksman, that did not do any damage. Very good to see. I don't have any good clean shots. Just go for the collateral. Oh well, we tried. That's fine, that's fine. Uh, let's fix everyone's problems. Okay. How did he get the baffle? When we went before him, that's a bug. You can only baffle people if you're faster than them. But we went before him. Unless he waited. And I missed that part of it. I want to hit him, but his turn's done, so I want to hit him, because he is the headshot guy. But Brandwag, you are not looking healthy. And you have a grazed neck as well. But if we beat this miner, Shinar can move up to the Master Archer. Major Pain can't save you at the moment. And it's a bit risky to move up, so we're not going to move up just yet. He threw a weapon? Beautiful, that's such a waste. Uh, story time, let's go and bash someone's head in. Wow, at 35%. That is rough. Yikes, 53 as well? Uh, Nisman, I think we can risk coming back into the fight. You're not bleeding. And technically 60 health should be enough to take a hit from Master Archer. Technically. Okay, that's not dangerous. These guys are throwing horrible weapons. Okay, we need to have a talk about this. Is he still reposting? Yes, so that means if we miss this, that's bad. Oh, I have an idea. We carry this thing around for a reason. We got the hit, and we missed the special second hit. That's fine, at least we hit him through his repost. Okay, come on. Yes! Uh, we need the 63 to kill, but then that makes the veteran walk in and hit us. But we still need to kill him. Let's split for the veteran. Nice! That was beautiful, Igor. What a shot. Uh, Roscoe, I think you just need to shield wall. You've been parried, which is rough. But I don't think it's enough to kill them, so I think you have to shield wall. Oh, actually, go for the hit as well. Okay, just have the best of both worlds. Why not? Velo, let's smack someone in the face. That works. Uh, I think the... Oh, that's a really nice hit, but we need to kill the marksman. Oh, come on. Literally one health. Roman, deal with something. You got fast adaptation, that helps. I can't shield wall and move because she doesn't have fatigue. So we just have to hope this veteran misses. That works! Can we get this kill? No. We tried. Uh, trauma, please get this beautiful hit. Do you have a high chance to hit the head? 55 is not enough, so let's go for a guaranteed head shot. And Major Pain, let's go slightly dangerous. Oh, fudge, I just real. Oh, the veteran's stuck! Because we moved here. That was an amazing play. Okay, so since the veteran's stuck, Major Pain can walk right up here without having to worry about Brandwag. And Brandwag doesn't have to worry about getting rushed up, he just has to worry about another shot to the face. Does anyone need saving in terms of the rally? No. Okay. Let's see how this pans out. That is not good. That is also not good. Him rotating is good for us. He can't split anymore. 
That's fine. That's fine. We need this hit. Come on, Bloodbane. Kill Lucky Radulf. Nine lives. Okay, I mean... That is still very good. Jumpy, you want to get your first kill? Oh my goodness, you got the weapon drop as well! Jumpy, congratulations! The strongest guy on the enemy team, other than this guy. Nicely done! And, uh... One, two, three... Yeah, we're kind of safe to leave you where you are. This guy, though, I want that guy to die. Archer, help with... Let's go for the 37, I guess. Nice! The monk's healing, that is not a problem. Headshot, beautiful, beautiful! Okay, that was unfortunate. He's going for the long flank. Yes, the veteran's wasting his time. Brandwag, your job is this guy still, please. Not getting any luck. Okay, story time's fine, story time's fine. Prom, we are struggling, but that's okay. Let's get these hits in. Dang it. Yep, the tank's fine. Got a headshot, though. We need to rush this archer as best as possible. Archie's fine. He's still surviving. He's bleeding out. That is good to see. Mizmin, come on. 82. Beautiful! I want to get this 53 so we can kill that one. Okay, let's stop bleeding for Brandwag. Angel. I do want to kill him, but then I don't want to kill him. Dang it, I should have moved Major Pain out of the way. That's okay, we'll just go for this guy. Yeah, let's go for this one. Nice! Story time. Beautiful damage. Oh, did you have to stun Craftmaster? I don't like this situation that we have with Archie. He's up against a guy that we don't want him to verse. And we only rolled one out of six 60%. Wow, that's rough. Okay, we got the hit. We can now duel this guy. Shadowcom, I don't think you're going to get this hit. But I think you can get that hit. Nice! He's down to 10 health. We can get this one. Oh, Igor, that was so close. Roscoe, beautiful! That makes this guy weaker. Uh, we go for another split. And we don't get it. That's a shield-walling veteran. Okay, that's rough. Oh my goodness, Roman, you beast! 265s and you killed him! We need this guy dead for his weapon. That sucked. Shannara, nicely done. Wow, the tank is going all out. We need to chase down these archers as best as possible. Bloodbane is in a world of pain. Can we push him away? 6% chance? Crap. And you're overwhelmed. I am sorry, Bloodbane. This might be the end of you if you're getting that wrecked by this guy. Sheesh. No. Oh, he misses a 68 on Brandwag. Okay, Brandwag, you got to get the hell out of there. No, 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 no. Okay, Nisman, you're doing well. Nice, Ozzy. Crom, we need to work on this guy. Nine turns, 22 turns, 10 turns. Oh, crap. Okay, so Trauma Pack moving up is actually not a bad idea. He's stuck. Um, I know I said get out of there, Brandwagon. We 
kind of need you in the fight. <sighs> because of that amazing damage. Ooh, that was scary. Shivers, that was scary. Mizmin, you're taking shots like a champ. Let's see if you can still survive this for a bit. Uh, the only problem is... Oh, 45% chance. Yes, you hit a body shot. That's what we wanted. Body shot again, please. Dang it. Malagon's doing good. I am enjoying this extra fatigue help from Malagon. It is helping our team. Because our team is not equipped to deal with fatigue and everything. Oh, no! Well, there goes our tank's shield. Uh, Roman has a chance to jump on the Master Archers. So he will jump here. Story time, I need you to keep attacking things. Two turns, kill him before he has his turn. Yes! Okay, where do we go from here? Angel, that was unfortunate. The monk's using his attack, that's fine. Uh, Igor needs to walk up here and be a pain. Didn't work, that's okay. Velo, please. He's on 10 health. Yes, and we got the weapon drop! That's what we needed. Okay, let's hope everyone else survives this, though. That's the main problem. Okay, he didn't get the stun off, that's good. Uh, Roscoe, I think your job is to sit in here, and it didn't work. This guy does not want to have a problem with us. We hit him once. Archie, where do we go? That did not do much. 13%? Why is it still so low? We need to go for the cleave again. What are we hitting on that second hit? Ten! With our amazing Solaris? These guys are way too tanky. And I think it's for this situation that fast adaptation is just a must in Legendary. My goodness. How do you deal with constant 10% with really good characters? Okay, we need this guy down for his beautiful weapon. But we're not getting lucky enough. Shannara, you have no chance of surviving if we move you forward. No, don't. Okay, good. He went for Igor. I don't know if that's actually a good thing, though. No, that didn't work. That didn't work. We need to break his shield. Ah, I should have just thought of that. What was that? Oh, I think that was the, uh, the Reach Axe. Dang it. Okay, good, the Master Archers aren't running away. I like that. Okay, Brandwag. Beautiful! Okay, that didn't work. They have another monk sitting back here? Interesting, I didn't know they had a double monk. Okay, eventually that fast adaptation is going to come through. Is anyone wavering at the moment? No. Is anyone bleeding? I don't think so. No. Uh, Major Pain then just start doing some damage, maybe. Nice job, Nisman. That's fine. Archie still has a little bit of armor. Archie hit a body shot. That's rare. Well, eventually his shield's gonna have to... There's the minstrel. Nice! We got a 22% in. Okay, now from here... Shivers, that monk 
is close to dying from this hit. Whilst we hit the Master Archer. Oh my goodness, we missed. We hit the Master Archer, though. Uh, as much as I'd love to get that shield... I don't think there's any way around it. We have to break his shield. That's that's most likely a fame shield. But it's gotta go. Nice, we finally hit him once. Okay, Brandweg, this is not looking good. Six turns, please don't just double down on us. Okay, we're gonna wait until that shield's broken before we start hitting him. Okay, Igor. I think your time is to leave. Nice headshot! Yes, he's fleeing! Yes, the Master Archer got pushed into melee! Okay. No, the Master Archer was pushed into melee. He killed him on a 40! Dang it! And we were doing so good. Damn it. Okay, let's keep going. Let's get ourselves... This shield needs to go, so we're gonna keep waiting. Uh, Major Pain, what do we got? Yes, that Master Archer's dead. Okay, we got that Archer down to a nice melee situation. Um, kind of wanted to go for him, but yeah. Break the shield. Really sad to see the shield broken. But it's the smartest choice at the moment. Okay, did he drop the weapon? He did. I'm very happy to see a free long axe on the ground. I'm also very happy to see him at 30 some percent chance to hit. That is a lot better than 5 and stuff. 95 with Chrome because of his beautiful fast adaptations. Brandwag at 60. Oh, I finished your turn too early. That is my fault there. Craftmaster. Roscoe gets the kill. Oh, we have to avenge. Avenge the fallen. Oh my goodness. That was a bit rough. We're on the home stretch now, boys. This guy is very tanky. Slowly taking down. Yeah, the minstrels can and the monk can escape. I don't care. Chrome, beautiful hit. Velo, that should not have missed. Dang it. Okay, at least they're not taking another life. Nice, Craftmaster. <sighs> Can't believe we lost Igor. That's a rough one to lose. We are getting a new two-handed sword person into our team. But losing Igor was rough. And this guy has to stop screwing us over with his shield.
Okay. I hate how Master Archers are so good in melee. Come on, boys. Nice, he's fleeing. That means no more shield wall. Confident, but the Master Archer does not waver. Yeah, 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 you can go. Let's switch. And miss. Nice hits. Come on, Roman. 95. It wasn't enough damage. Yes! Goodness me. Well, we finished a legendary quest with one casualty. I really... We were so close to having zero casualties there. But Bloodbane survived because Igor took the hits. If Igor didn't take the hits, Bloodbane would have been dead. But, man, that's rough. Losing a level 8 character with some really nice stats. And I think Igor was from us at the beginning. Yep, we're only down to one Barbarian left, and I think that's Solaris. Sheesh. Pretty decent XP. But look at that loot. Oh, that is the new model for the S-Stock. I was right. Because that looked weird. I like it. It does look really cool. We got a famed armor. We didn't get the broken famed shield. That is true. But we had to sacrifice that to save at least one life. We got two great swords. Oh, it's not Zweihanders. Or Zweihanders. It's the great swords. Okay. But that's still really nice, strong weapons. Uh, Warhammer is very nice to have. I think we have one, but I'm not sure. I think we have a military pick. Yeah, we might get this as a nice upgrade. Long Axe is great, Heavy Crossbow and Warbow, beautiful additions. But look at those beautiful helmet armors and base armors. That was very, very valuable. Sad that we got a loss out of it. We also get paid a heck of a ton. Look at that, 3.8k. And what levels did we get? Roscoe? Oh, that's another one of our frontliners dead. Our frontline is suffering so much. Uh, Roscoe, what you got? Plus 2, plus 3, not bad. Uh, I think we wait for a 4 in Resolve. Actually, no. The other choice is plus 2 health. We'll take the 3 Resolve. Uh, Two-Ended Hammer. Let's grab Hammer right now so we don't forget. And who else sits in the front line? I think Storytime gets a promotion. There you go, you get to sit in the front lines officially. Uh, Velo still sits on the sides on 17. Polly's is on 19. So maybe it's Polly's that gets to sit on that edge there. Because Roman is being a Reach character, which is congratulations on the level up. And I'm glad I keep writing things down, I forget. Reach Cleaver Whip, so it's just attack, hit points, and fatigue. And you have the shield at the moment, so you can sit on the edge. Even though 15 is not that much. Uh, we might as well go into Cleaver Mastery right away. And we don't have a whip. After all of our battles, I don't think we've gotten a single whip. Also, let's check out this really cool armor piece. A 4 for 80? Oh, that is so nice. It doesn't look it nice, but it is. Okay, let's quickly organize the inventory and show how nice it's going to be. So 145 for Archie. One seventy. 
and his nimble's down to 42. It used to be like 47. That is beautiful, nimble, worthy armor. I love it. So that was something. And that's why you never underestimate the famed base armors. Because they're usually really good for nimble people. And they make a very big difference, as you can see here. Because a normal uh, 70 piece is 9 fatigue. A 65 is 8 fatigue. If that's 4 fatigue, you're saving so much on your nimble brothers and allowing them to be super, super defensive for at least a little bit extra armor. So yeah, never forget your nimble brothers. Krom, what do we got? Uh, 3, 2, and 4. Not bad. And something. Something, something, something. Uh, ignoring clarity, what the heck do we do now? I guess execution is not bad. The other thing is, Major Pain should be wielding... It's been a while and I keep forgetting. Uh, Major Pain should be using the banner. There we go. That's a lot better. I keep forgetting to switch it back. That looks nice. But the situation here is, what do we do with our polearm builds now? They just don't work. Yeah, polearms have now just been completely useless. You can still move two spaces and attack, but not being able to attack twice a turn, that is rough. I don't know what to do about it. I think we just have to give up on pole arms. Maybe go hybrid, because that's the only other reason why you would go pole arm is to go hybrid. But it's too late now for most of our characters. And there's not many damaging abilities we can get for Crumb either. There's really not much to do. We have the fast adaptation. Adrenaline's not as useful for most of the situations. I I'm considering Executioner. I think that's our only real choice that helps us out for what we're doing. Uh, yeah, I don't... I really don't see a use for pole arms now. That's the one thing that made pole arms good was clarity. Pole arms are just a gimmick to get your characters past their early stages, keep them alive. But to make them viable, that extra action point made a big difference. Nismin, look at that beautiful plus four resolve. And you're getting permanent resolve for converting people. So congratulations on amazing there. And we didn't lose you either. So that helps. Indeed. Uh, let's go for some more fatigue. I think you do need it. Unless we've figured out a way... No, you don't. Because we're getting you down to that really good... Let's get you some health so you don't die. That's looking nice. Uh, should we get that fortified mind? Or should we get something else? I like Headhunter because we've got Brute and we have a 45% chance to hit the head, which would guarantee in our next chance to hit the head because we're trying to go as best as we can for Headhunting hits. I don't think it's the most amazing perk, but I think it's good for this situation only. There's not many situations I'd recommend Headhunter. Um, but before we get that, I think Killing Frenzy might be the right choice before that. Uh, things like Executioner would be really good too. But Killing Frenzy, just as many damage boosts as we can to bash people's heads in. Uh, jumpy Dodge Fencer. Uh, nice 2, nice 3. What do we need out of all this? The health is lacking. I think we just go with the health... Uh, can we get resilient? Does not look like we can get resilient. 
This is rough. Uh, we don't need to go crazy for the initiative and wait for initiative rolls high because we already... It's already going to be amazing initiative no matter what we do. But we have the perk for alert, so we can use perks to sort out the stats that we don't have. Oh my goodness, I just noticed the time. Yeah, we, we're, we're going to wrap this up. <laughs> uh, but I'll just quickly go through these levels and hand in the quest for sure. That was such an amazing quest. But yeah, quickly going over what my thoughts were was uh, we've got perks to sort things out. We don't have perks to sort out your health because we don't have resilient, which is really sad to see. 10 melee defense while holding a net. That's pretty cool. That's a cool addition. But yeah, I think we'll just be happy with the health increase. This will be a good build once we get to the higher levels. Definitely for Jumpy. Um, let's jump into dodge right away. So we don't forget. And let's get Malagon. Man, you're actually making a nice big difference on the team, man. Those beautiful war chants are helping out. And I think Song of Life is the right way to go right now. I know I'd love to give you Nimble, but being in the back and not getting shot very often, and to help save problems like we did earlier, we might just need that Song of Life. Uh, am I missing up a level? Everybody's all completely broken and damaged. And I can't wait to sort out these before next episode, which I will have to remember for sure. Uh, but there's a few things we can quickly put on repair so we can make some money. Oh, the long axe has been awaited a long time. And in all honesty... Do we do it like this? Do we just go triple axe? Daggers are good, but having the opportunity to split people, do amazing one-person damage, or go for the ranged hit. That is just a really nice idea. I hate the fact that that kills our fatigue. <laughs> Maybe we can't do it because of fatigue. Yeah, we can't. It's too fatigue heavy. Yeah, that's sad. Okay, we have to sit with the long axe, though. That would be cool if we were able to do all three axes. But we can't. That's all right. Now, the S-Stock is not a sword I use often. It's got Lunge. I wonder if that's better than the Fencing Sword. But I'm thinking the Fencing Sword is the right choice for a, a Duelist build. Yeah, that would make more sense. Uh, anyways, we got the Tower Shield, so Shinar will never have to have a shield break again. And can never use shield wall. Oh my goodness, the fatigue of that thing. And we don't have brawny. Oh crap. Shinara, you're on a downward spiral and I'm so sad to see it. Yikes. I'll see if I can fix that fatigue problem for next episode, but I'm not sure how we'll do. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, anyways, let's quickly get these repairs going before we move forward. And that one too. Okay. So let's go get our cash. A bunch of nice renown. Look at that. Gratitude for sure. We have a space to fill up in our group. How are we doing for... Where is it? We are dreaded, of course. But we are at 1,005. Profession is 1,050. Oh! Oh, we're so close. Definitely next episode we'll grab that. Running low on tools, crazy amount of money, provisions. Once we hit the southern state, we are going to be rich. Then we can start doing some good stuff. Anyways, sorry for dragging this out, but that was a legendary quest, and that was our first successful legendary quest in the season. And hopefully many more with a bit more success. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll catch you in the next one. See you.